Hello guys, this is Vire and I'm alive! <laughs> I'm sorry for not being able to make a video for such a long time. I really wanted to, but I I don't know, I couldn't find the power in myself. So here I'm treating you to something kind of special, maybe <laughs> a little bit, hopefully, which is a famous Percy Bed Underwater Kiss. I felt like this was quite the right time for me to redraw the scene because I feel like I restored my passion for this fandom and for the characters and I'm just very emotional towards them in general lately. I I've been hitting my very nostalgic mode, like it's not secret, I just keep drawing the characters I loved for such a long time. So here is Percy Beth and uh, here I'm doing my what is it I'm doing? I can't see, everything is way too tiny. <laughs> I should edit the video just so it's better. <laughs> my phone, great. Uh, anyway, here's nothing really special, I'm just doing my line art as usual and I started my line art and I noticed that Annabeth's head is actually kinda <laughs> on the bigger side. and. Um, I realized it, but I can't really change it at this stage because I need to change it with the liner since I don't really erase the liner completely and I need it to stay. So I liner it this way and I just waited for everything to be like for the liner and sketch to be done just so I can do it a tiny little bit smaller. And you can see I will do that lately. I'm not really sure if uh, you will be able to say, to like, to tell or not, but I really, really want to try pushing my backgrounds better, and I just keep doing <laughs> backgrounds and going out of my very comfort <laughs> white background zone. I really hope it will work. I tried my best with this one, but it's still not as great as I initially planned for it to be. Like. <clears throat> Maybe uh, in the somewhat later in the video, I will be able to insert the pictures of me drawing, like of my previous drawing of Percy Bat <laughs> with like underwater kisses. Because I really, I think I did like one, two, probably three versions before this. <laughs> this is how much I love this scene because it's just so fun to draw, you know. Like, it's water and this balloon, bubble, bubble, whatever it is. Someone on Instagram commented that the bubble has to actually, like, uh, kind of cover the heads. And it may make sense, and I know this, but uh, in my head I really wanted for the kiss to be actually, like, underwater kiss. And I don't think in any of the drawings I actually drew, like, them actually in the bubble. Like, so the head is in the bubble and they can breathe. But uh, <laughs> I just thought that for me it's gonna be like Percy in the process of making the bubble and it slowly emerges and covers them all up, but for now they're just underwater. Yeah. <laughs> I was experimenting throughout this video with the brushes like a lot. I don't really. I, I, I keep not being sure what brushes I like for the background. But so far I figured it's alabaster brush and there is also marker tool. I love those fishes, like, I don't know, some of the faces of those fishes are just so cute. Oh, here, see, I made Annabeth's head a little bit tinier and tinier, smaller, and I feel like it looks better now. I tweaked the colors a lot throughout this one as well, because I felt like they were just not looking quite like they were underwater colors, you know? They still don't really, if you think about it, like the bodies have to be more green, bluish, but I wanted it to be more colorful and not as completely blue, <laughs> like I can make it. Uh, so, he, yeah. Usually, as usually, I did my flash coloring and then I added some overlay layers on top and uh, like there are a lot of layers and some of them are overlay layers for the water and like uh, water effects like this, um, then experimenting happened and I don't really remember what I did, I just remember remember freestyling this a lot, <laughs> I, really, I really don't know what I'm doing when I do background, so I'm sorry for that, I can't really explain much about it. Yeah, here is how it looks without my overlay layer on top, as I mentioned some times before, I always use this one overlay layer that adds a certain hue. And I'm 
actually, I am adding kind of more depth. depth. <laughs> I can't pronounce this word for life, I'm sorry. Just so like there is water and like there is more water in there, if that makes sense, hopefully, maybe. So that's what I did. And then I did my usual tweaking, like of colors, and I added some filters a little bit. Oh, here's very fancy <laughs> close up. Jeez, I'm so bad at video editing, I don't really know why, why I do this. <laughs> I'm sorry. Now I'm gonna show my previous versions of the drawings. So here is the very first one um, at the time when I still did traditional art. Look at them, how beautiful the hands. And here is the second one. See, they are just kissing underwater and the balloon just whoop, kinda covers them up. Here's the third one. <laughs> oh, jeez. And now it's gonna be the last one, the fourth. Ta da! I hope the improvement is there, maybe. <laughs> Hopefully. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really enjoyed drawing this one, and I actually enjoyed like voiceover in this one. And yeah, hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and bye!